Hello, I'm Roberta Stevens, president of the American Library Association. Today I will provide you a look at ALA from the outsider and insider points of view. My aim is to provide you with key information that encourages you to join the association or, if you are a member, to effectively participate in it and take advantage of the many opportunities it provides for professional growth and development. I'm going to pass on some tips to help you successfully navigate the 62,000 member organization, the largest and I might add the premier library association in the world. I frequently hear the term newbie and have been called a variation of it myself. However, if being a newbie means you don't understand ALA and how it's structured and operates, then I suspect most of ALA's members qualify as newbies. For many, ALA membership is primarily about staying abreast of best practices and cutting edge trends through publications, formal and informal learning, and professional development opportunities. For others, membership means participation in ALA, its divisions and roundtables, and in its initiatives like advocacy and legislation, literacy, library standards, and diversity in the profession. Participation in one of ALA's 11 divisions or 17 roundtables is a superb way to match one's interests with sources of information and professional guidance. ALA has a range of members' interests expressed in their committee work, publications and journals, programs, and continuing education offered by the divisions and roundtables. Members at all stages of their careers write, edit, and review for traditional and new media across the association. Members work on committees that set standards for the profession and for our libraries. ALA members are experts, both as experienced teachers, presenters, and creators, but also as learners, knowing that fellow members have ideas and advice that will help improve their library and impact their career. First, if you are not a member, you need to become one. If you are a student, the cost is $33, and in recognition of the fact individuals may be attending classes part-time, there is a five-year eligibility for student membership status. If you are a first-year member, the cost is $65. A second-year member pays $98, and from the third year of membership forward, the cost is $130. Support staff and librarians earning less than $25,000 per year who are currently unemployed pay a flat rate of $46. I became an intern on one of the committees of ALA's council, the Committee on Legislation, and was elected to ALA's governing body, the council itself. Looking back, the reasons I first wanted to get more involved with ALA stem from the passage of the Patriot Act in 2001 and the realization that our rights to privacy were being invaded. ALA was one of the very few organizations to stand up and take a stand against those rights being invaded through the Patriot Act. And we made a difference. I saw that personally. Again, find your niche. Use the ALA website to browse the divisions and roundtables and see what they have to offer. Don't hesitate to call division's executive director to find out more about it and how you can participate in the division's activities. All members have access to AL Direct, a wonderful newsletter of weekly updates crossing the entire association. AL Direct keeps you in the know with a wide range of news affecting libraries, information on training and awards, and so forth. As a service to members, AL Direct is a home run out of the park. ALA Connect is the association's new online professional network. It is easy to use and provides members with quick ways to find people and projects. Every division and roundtable has a space on ALA Connect that is filled with current information. But most importantly, it puts you in touch with other members. In ALA, it is people who make the difference. One of ALA Connect's best features is that you can create your own communities of interest and working groups. Put your question out on Connect and be prepared for lots of advice and help. It is all about the people. It's the people you meet and connect, serve with on a committee, and learn from at a program or through an article you read. Membership puts you in touch in special ways. 
Thank you for your interest in the American Lottery Association. I hope that your membership experience will be rewarding, help you find new ideas for your library, and help you make the professional and personal connections that matter.